Lewerke looks to throw for the first time. Chased out of the pocket and pulled down from behind by Troy Dye. And this is going to be a concern. They battled a number of injuries this year. But, but check out right here, inside linebacker. And this is just a key blitz. So once he sees the protection settle itself, he's going to find an open gap and find his way to Brian Lewerke. One of the more under... Rated things Lewerke does is when he does escape the pocket, and they will. Some extra time to get ready for the different look. On first down, they swing it out. L.J. Scott pulled down. What a nice open field tackle by Kolana Apelu, their second leading tackler despite missing the last three games. Lewerke drops a snap, trying to find it like a bar of soap finally does and heaves it wildly that one is intercepted a poor decision from Lewerke and the Pac-12's leader in interceptions Javon Holland comes up with another I think this play just kind of epitomizes the season for the Michigan State offense it starts off with the bobbled snap and it's accurate it's just Lewerke mishandling the football and then that oblong shaped ball that just hasn't bounced the way for Michigan State this year. Lewerke doing the best he can to throw it away because he wants to stay in field goal range. Unfortunately, just not enough arm strength to get it there. And Holland on the other end making a ridiculous play. Look at him undercut Naylor. Wow. True freshman on true freshman. That's a heck of a grab. For his fifth pick this season, Tendency holds with a play action pass. Herbert had a man in the flats instead, throws across his body for a first down to Jalen Red. And this is, just, this is part of the skill set that makes you so impressed with Justin Herbert. Not easy to do, throwing back across your body. All your momentum is going. Second and two, takes the fake that opens up a man over the middle. That is Jacob Breland, first down into Michigan State territory. It's all about the play action pass fake that allows Breland all this space. Watch the linebackers, Joe Bocci, number 35 in particular, kind of sucking up on it. And then you have Breland with all this space in behind the Michigan State linebackers. Not bouncing Michigan State's way, it does there. Three straight Hayward touches. Trying to power his legs forward, stymied by Troy Dye and spotted short. Leading tackler for the Ducks all three seasons he's been at Oregon. The work you well protected, fine Stewart but broken up. Javon Holland, who's got an interception today, stuck his hand in and knocked it away, so it's fourth down. This kid's got the total package. That's why he's playing as a true freshman. And he's going to undercut the route. So not only does Stewart break inside, and Holland's got outside leverage, which makes this difficult. It's the long arm just to get underneath to bat the football away. It's a little bit behind. It's still a heck of a play by Holland. On 14. Lewerke flushed off his spot and tripped up from behind by Lamar Winston. Lamar Winston for playing that outside linebacker position. He's not very big. But he is quick and he can get up around the edge and retrace his steps. That's exactly what he does here. He's working as Kevin Jarvis, the right guard. He's got almost 100 pounds on him, but he utilizes that speed to make a play. He's back to work from the 23 yard line with a Justin Herbert throw. Quickly outside to Jalen Red. Red able to get a first down and then some. Tackled by Andrew Dowell. Oh, it's been noticeable too. You can look at the. Second down and seven out of an empty set. Herbert down the seam has Red, who's got two big receptions on this drive. And the Ducks taken into Michigan State territory. Well, here's the game plan. Okay. Herbert lofting. Mitchell just. He's got it. Touchdown Oregon to tie the game. A big time throw and a big time play. And this is really what you've seen from Justin Herbert to Dylan Mitchell all year long. One of the best in the country at throwing the deep ball. 
It's the ability for Mitchell to come back to the football. This time being able to corral it, and I believe he indeed does have possession. He goes in the end zone. They fake the dump off, trying to throw the screen to Scott. Diagnosed perfectly by Oregon, and Justin Hollins brings Lowerke down. That play was all Justin Hollins the entire way. He identified the screen. He got back into the throwing lane for Brian Lewerke. And then he ends up making the play. Look at him. He can see it. He gets in the way. And then he still finds a way to get into Lewerke for the lob. C.J. Verdell has the same and a first down. Stays on his feet into Spartan territory. 16 yards and the Duck offense finding life here in the fourth. Credit the offensive line. Look at the movement they get. Everyone moving this way. And it's Verdell finding the seam. But they cut him. Shifting back to the Spartans here. Lorky well protected on first down. But the coverage downfield tightened. So a pedal comes up and gets him. And we go down to Bruce. The slot. Scott hit at the line of scrimmage. Gary Baker, junior defensive tackle. Inside five minutes now. Second. On third and eight, the Ducks bring pressure. Lewerke lost it, was able to get back on it. He was sacked by Justin Hollins, losing a yard, and it's fourth down. Well, it's been the legs of Lewerke that have been a big piece of them moving the football and you know, pick up first downs. They try to go once again. And watch as the rush gets upfield. Lewerke starts to take off. Almost loses this football. It's really, really only bring one. Just cold chewings on the outside. So missing his assignment. Timeout will take a break. A 49 yarder from Matt Coglin looking for the lead. Out of the hold of Brian Lewerke. A low snap. Lewerke picks it up. Fire drill is on. He won't even throw it away, and he's thrown out of bounds with a minute 35. Hey, oh. Go ahead. A blunder on special teams, and it just and this has been the story the past two series. You said it to a low snap. Lewerke bobbles it, tries to get up the best he can at that point. Coglin's already stopped his approach and there's no way he's going to have enough leg at this point to be able to gain enough momentum and be able to make it through for a 50 yarder which would have been as long. And if you're Brian Lewerke you just got to throw this thing up and hope that someone downfield can make a play for you. Nothing to lose at that point. The only problem was Raquan Williams their defensive tackle. He was the only guy who released downfield. The pass made it beyond the line of scrimmage. The passer was out of the pocket. It's a turn. All 11 stand for Oregon. Lewerke has time. Can somebody come free? Over the middle. Cody White incomplete. Headed in his fingertips. Thomas Graham knocks it away. And Oregon is going to win the Red Box Bowl. In a game where offense was at a premium. 7-6 with 32 seconds remaining. Well, this might have been the catch of the year for Cody White if he was able to make it and he does a good job of trying to uncover and continue with his route once the work he bought time just couldn't hold on to it at the end and credit Thomas Graham for sticking with Cody White across the field. I'm sure him wrapping him up towards the end impacted his ability to make that catch.